Hello, and today is Happy Mail Day. And we're back to a bunch of mail. <laughs> I put a post up. I said, one of the best parts of leaving is coming home to the mail. I said, it's just so heartwarming to feel like you guys think of us, even when we're gone. And this okay. mail comes so in. Which, which way did you? Because I want to start with the oldest stuff. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're this just gonna, January. We're so just I gonna, think January oh, is okay. old. <laughs> okay, but I don't. No, I don't. I think I probably mix them all up. No, so kind of no. doesn't really matter. Well, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I guess I it don't does know. matter. Okay, it matters to Tim, but I didn't know we well, had a plan. Okay, so so mm -hmm. I had a plan. Some that were sitting on the side were special because they were to me. Okay. Oh, I'll have to. I need notice to notice the names. I have to run interference before she. Okay. <laughs> changes my method. So only two, only a couple of announcements. This is the host code, and you can always find it. So glad to have you guys here, and um, I will be putting up more information, and you've seen the last chance list. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Monday night, we're going to walk through the catalogs and look at all of those, and I have so many things to show from convention. Tomorrow, we're going to come out and just share the few, I've bought maybe 20 Easter cards, so we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> Unless at some point some in time. come today. Okay. And, you know, we've been gone for seven and a half weeks, and Oh, we got home just in time. The very yesterday morning, my mom's social worker called to say that there was a room that had opened up that mom could move to. So it was really fun to go out there and it's going to be a really nice move. So I'm glad to be home and we're in the middle of all that. And, you know, not seeing mom and Johnny were our, are the hardest things about being gone. So we have a lot of catch up to do now that we're home. So thanks for being gracious to us. We usually do a project. I even had one ready somewhere in my bags, but we just thought w we could ease back in because we need time to look at cards and we do time to unpack. <laughs> so we appreciate you rolling with us on whatever we do. And the other, um, yeah, I guess snow's coming tonight, but we don't. Oh, it's snowing a little bit out there. How about that? Um, All Good Cards Club is Tuesday. And what I wanted to mention about this Flurries. one, we're doing another uh, 12 by 12 one sheet wonder, but we're doing it in a different way. I love to do something different every time we're doing it. And I already made, I used the whole, all of the papers in the perennial lavender. Um, that's already set in the PDFs. So you could use that whole pack. It's the number one selling um, paper that we have at the moment. But for the actual class, I'm picking brand new papers and we're just, we're going to be doing it together. I'm not pre-making them. I'll add the pictures to the PDFs after, but I thought it'll just be fun to talk about how to make choices, what to do. And so it's just going to be a little different and they're going to be easy cards. And, you know, part of the plan is we got to use up our paper so we can get more, right? No. And we get all these cards to send out. I mean, look at all these cards coming to us and all the stories. We have lots of stories to share about talking to people when we were gone about what you guys do with your cards. So anyway, thanks. Thanks for going with the flow, Patty, with us. So wonderful. So let's get started. Let's Look at this is Margaret Springer from Michigan. See, and we were gone over Valentine's. Oh, is that adorable? I <laughs> loved this cat stamp set. Happy Valentine's Day. Head over heels about you, though. That is darling. And that is, and notice when you do a big card like that, you can use regular business size envelopes. You don't need to do anything special, which is very cool. Then we have from Ohio, and this is from, oh, how cool is this? A, a calendar. May 2024 bring you joy, peace, and a closer walk with Jesus. May, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. What I love about this, I have to figure out who it's from. If you're on here, it's from Ohio, but there's no name. Is it, maybe it's underneath. No. But I'm just looking. From Ohio. Please tell us if you made this. What I want to comment. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. No. Look how you can personalize these. And I'm thinking of all of you that do like at church events and stuff. Isn't, I just think that is really Perfect. Or even if someone's sick, I love that whole idea. You can take someone's favorite verse or anything you want or a poem or anything. But I, I just love how she took that and 
made it with the message we want. Newark. Cindy, you're so sweet. She says we're fine with just spending time with you both. We cannot tell you how much Thank we you. appreciate that. <laughs> Newark. Rebecca says she's a hoarder. She needs this next glass. So I hope it is. It's so funny. Newark, Ohio. And this is Elsie Graff. Um, look how cute. Paper and just a little thing right in the middle. Oh, that's fun. Oh, oh and some other fun, uh, a fun message from her. So that's really cool. Pat Nagy from Missouri. Oh, fun. Oh, does this make me think spring? I hear flowers were trying to bloom when we were gone. <laughs> now I have a little snow. But oh, Tim. Look, oh, my goodness. Say that the is gorgeous. Oh, that is. That is gorgeous. Oh, and something for Tim. She put in here. That is gorgeous. He will love that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Colleen Anderson from North Dakota. Oh, do you know I have this bundle and I haven't even used it yet. Look how fun that is. So she's got the mm. hearts pulled out and then these popped up and these stamped. That's lovely. That's nice. Oh, what a fun idea. Love that, Colleen. It's absolutely beautiful. I've I have gone through the retirement set, but just once briefly. So I have to look at it more before I can. I just have to get organized and get all my things in a row. And this is from Wanda Kavanaugh. Oh, how fun is this? So this would be a die of some sort with, I don't think it's a Stampin' Up! One, at least I don't remember, but look how cool this is. And then she's got glimmer paper to see how that's tucked inside. Do you see that, Tim? So this is a square of paper. And then this is a die that all just kind Ooh. of fits that. That is cool. That is. Let me see that. Fabulous. I like that. Uh, Rebecca says, yes, she's got tulips coming up. And that, oh, that's just not so good. The, um, oh, Texas blue bonnets are blooming early in abundance. We love oh. the Texas blue bonnets. They were all over. And I wanted to pull we over done. and take a close up picture. And I have to look that up. Oh, this is Stephanie Briggs, I think, from um, Florida. Look at this stunning card. This is just one of my favorite all-time papers, the celebration. And I'm thinking this is going, I don't know, but this is gorgeous. I love how she's taken the branch and then put mm -hmm. it against that die cut. So I'm looking Very at all this and wondering what's leaving and what's not, but I better just wait till I, Monday till we know. Musical comment. Mm -hmm. There's a woman named Nancy Griffiths who, who is from Texas, and she wrote a song called Gulf Coast Highway. And it's yes. all about blue, um, and blue bonnet. And Tim played a lot of her music when we were going through Texas. And, and we've never really driven through Texas before. We went so through her fun. hometown. Okay. Oh, a, a little story time. We also went to um, Carrie Underwood's yeah. hometown. I mean, <laughs> not, not happens. Yeah, Reba McIntyre. Reba so we just had to put that McIntyre. up. So it was just really fun. Straight so Tim loved. Dallas, and then, of Oklahoma. course, he puts their music on to honor the whole situation. And that's all pretty <laughs> fun. Brenda, it was great meeting you, too. We loved meeting all the people we met at on stage. So we're so glad people came up to us and talked. So, um, so. Uh, Kay from Patricia Settle in Indiana. You qualified yourself. It was sort of fun. Did I say sort of fun? Yeah. I meant really fun. Oh. But the one who has really, 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 really fun would be Tim. <laughs> it was sort of fun. He could do that all day and never get tired. I said he just That's right. loves being with people. <laughs> so anyway, we appreciate you guys. No, it was all fun, and it was a great conference. Um, what you no, you, what, what you say? said was about my music. Oh, see, I don't listen, even know what I'm talking no, about. I know. Okay, so, we are a little tired. We we're yeah. just <laughs> so listening to my music was sort of fun. That's what she said. Oh, not, okay. not meeting you. No, not going to conference. Just I like. All that music, and I love when it's kind of setting the stage, and then you know, talk about that. I, I know I think that's fun, and Tim See, has such a sense of place in doing that. So, we loved meeting people, yeah. Don't we, we confuse. did. Okay, Karen's I couldn't believe that I would have said that. I no, thought, Am I no, that no. tired? We had a Listening blast. To my music <laughs> was sort of fun, okay. So, it goes on. Uh, oh, it's so good to be home, but re entry is its own challenge, and you, you guys know that. So, we love your. Patience. So we really, about stinking hey, cute fat saddle that the little is it furry friends or whatever these are called. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I like that heart. Maybe yeah, the stick. little stick heart yeah. from all these sticks and that, oh, that is so perfect. Love it. I could do that kind of a heart. 
have to go out and find some sticks. Heather Clump from Illinois. Oh, a lovely, thank you. This is one of the dies in the spring catalog. Isn't that pretty how it's just soft? You see how, Tim, how it just shows the outline mm -hmm. and then it's popped up like that? Really a simple and elegant card. I think that is so fun. That thing. <laughs> and a thank you from Heather. That is wonderful. And then we have D. I don't think I can read. Dot, dot Davis, D Davis from Missouri. D. Yes. Um, I know this is one that's staying and I'm so glad because I haven't even played with mine yet. And I have so many adorable cards. Look at that. Send me the envelope. I think that is so darling. That is a great card. How fun. It is beautiful. We're all the way up to Valentine's there's a, there's a little twist on this one. Uh, uh, roses are red, violets are blue. Let it be said, you're my Valentine too. I've never heard that version. Mm. Have you? Mm. Sounds always fun. That's true for us. And then Sharon Smith from Kentucky. You would think I planned this, but look at this. Just that thank you yep. we just had. Here's the love you from the same set ah. and done in different color. Uh, another thing I haven't played with. You know, we've been so busy. I haven't gotten things played with. And I thought that is so fun. And then with the... Um, what we call this is one of the many variations where you can stack, slice, and shuffle or just create your own. That is gorgeous. Love it. Wonderful. Thanks, Sean. More great uh, celebration papers there. Here we have um, Sue Myers from Ohio. And if you guys heard, next year's conference for Stampin' Up! is going to be in Raleigh. So we will be heading that direction next year, which will be very fun too. Love this with the heart. Oh, I just loved this paper. Oh, that is so fun. Uh, <laughs> oh, and they were talking about uh, the shoebox Valentine boxes for school. Oh, we used to do that. Oh, how fun, fun memories. Oh, that, that yeah, that's so fun. All the things we can do. And Vesta Street from Colorado. Oh, lovely Valentine. Now look how, oh, how fun is this? You see, she's got the pop and it pops mm -hmm. right up there. That mm. is wonderful. And a wonderful thank you. And I love this little version of a card and how that pops you know, up. And just darling. Right on the money. It's not even. No, um, Kathy Austin is often on here. She does a Valentine's. I need to set this aside to show her for women at church. And it's when we're gone. I used to do it with her. Um, that and they put out Valentine's that people can do. And this is going to go into my stack to show her. Because I always sort through cards and think of what other uses I can think of them. But this would be uh, great because they're always looking for simple, unique, UI, new ideas. So that's perfect. Mm -hmm. I still have that punch. So um, that will be cool. Nancy Kelly from Michigan. Oh, this is fun. I love this. Wonderful. And I love how she's got the two. So those are like rectangles going that way, but not meeting, but just mm -hmm. off center in the middle. Isn't that a cool design? And then we have, oh, yes, Diane Schoonover was on here and is on my team. And I met her for the first time, but she had a uh, kidney stone surgery. Uh, and I know she was sick at the very oh, end. We oh, about man, that. our hearts went out to that. Tim has done that. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So anyway, hopefully you're on the mend now and all is good. Charlotte Nygaard. Ny okay. No. Um, Nydegger from California. Okay. Oh, look at this. How fun. Walking in a winter wonderland. And you know, I love it if we can walk in a winterland for one day and then have the sun take it away the next day. And that's what we're heading for. That's the kind of winter I don't mind coming back to. That is really pretty. What a fun card. So see, I've opened several times and then there's the snowflake. Okay. That's the street for my mom. This is going to be fun. It's it's going to be fun um, to get her settled in a new place and a Valentine's for her. So we'll set cards aside to go to go out with that to put in she will be getting a, ooh, a private room which will be which will be very nice and nice for us visiting too since she doesn't hear very well and we you know need to talk a lot so let's set that aside but i love that the three hearts i'm going out oh cute <laughs> that is very cute but she hears karen's voice better than she hears mine so maybe it's the, yeah the timber yes i think it is um jan eagleson from 
Where are you from again? Missouri. Missouri. Yes. Missouri. Oh, and look, isn't it fun how we see similarities and yet differences? Look at that's different size hearts. Mm -hmm. Another great idea. I'm thinking of all of these size of hearts. Just a great idea for working with kids um, and doing all that kind of stuff. That is so sweet. Oh, that is wonderful. Then we have Joan Ballinger from Minnesota. Okay, we were Mrs. actually, I don't think we were mocked, but people down in Texas says, you're from where? From Minnesota? <laughs> I know, I geez, we you know, like, but they have the accent, not us. Isn't that how everyone yeah, thinks? <laughs> okay. so we really are kind of sing-songy yes, in are. the way we say Minnesota. And bags, and I don't know what else, but how pretty is this? Look at pretty background paper. And this is monochromatic. So... It's fun when you can just do a stamp monochromatic and you get a, oh, Whoa. oh, and she did. This is what we did oh in um, one of our last All Good Cards Club. This was one of the many uh, pleated cards. This was just one of them. That is stunning. Oh, that oh, is beautiful. Yes, man. Oh, love it. Love the color, too. All these are getting all mixed up because my piles are falling over. Uh, Vesta stream from me. Vesta is such an amazing card sender. We just totally appreciate that. Uh, this is a paper that I was talking about that has just been so popular. Uh, um, does everyone here have it? <laughs> because it's not carrying over. But I think that's a... Oh, and this is thinking she won a pi prize patrol in our card play. Card play will be coming up again, too. We're busy planning that. So we have a lots going on. Beautiful card. Just love the layered... And nice Vesta look there. Put her house on it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Look at that. That's that's great. <laughs> and then we have from Virginia, Faye Cunningham. Oh, mm, uh, St. Patrick's Day for Timothy Otitis, I think. It, oh, it is. Yes. How's that on there, Mr. Mr. Mrs. Timothy Otitis? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome because that's, that's what Tim calls himself. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and we've got the rainbow. That is, ah, uh, Faye, that's a fabulous garden. It is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Teresa Courtney. And we have, oh, my favorite, my favorite classic layout where we steal both sides of a card and a bumblebee. I think this. It's not a bumblebee. Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> Ladybug. <laughs> I'm going to get my punches mixed up. Okay. I think I that asked, is adorable. Ask for more money because I I'm always you know my my job is ask for more money editing. You know, aren't I a paid employee? Oh oh, I don't know where he was going with that. I thought you paid me for this. Stuff. Oh oh, well if you think so, keep on thinking that. <laughs> You yeah. do it for the fun. <laughs> Michelle awesome. Herrick from Nebraska. And another St. Patty's Day card. I, I should pay you to do this. And this is interesting because she's got the the four-leaf clover on vellum on green cardstock instead of doing it in green. So isn't that fun? Oh, the lavender paper is carrying over. Okay, see, I'm gonna I'm gonna zip my mouth. Um and that's it. Colleen, I'm so glad it is because it's been the number one. <laughs> okay, good. Then just think when we do the Tim's laughing or when we do the all the cards club, mom. it's not even being retired. So you can do it forever. It. I am so glad. Zip it. And you can tell I haven't had time to study the catalog. There are, I think, two or three papers carrying over, which I'm thrilled about, and then darling new ones. Oh, it's so fun getting St. Patty's Day card. I have never, ever sent. Who else here sent St. Patty's Day card? From Ginger. Well, Ginger Fabe from Timothy Otitis. That is adorable. Timothy Otitis should send. <laughs> Ginger, that is, that is just stinking cute. <laughs> and then we have... Best again for my for my mom. Oh, she's gonna love this Easter card. Ah, oh, this is another. Oh, I love that. For God's love, the world. She would love that, and this will set up on her thing. Um, we did these in one of the card kits, and you know, I don't even have the card kit to show you this month. There is one. I just haven't unpacked for enough to get to it. I don't know where it is. Um, but it. So I can't even remember what we're using. But you'll love it. I know. But that. She would love that. Oh, it's fun. We'll have this little stack for her, which is very cool. Susan Higgins from Ohio. We got a bunch of Ohio in here today. Oh, and look at this heart. Oh, okay. That is so fun. And just a thank you. Um, oh, she is one of my 
new people that joined in. It's just so good. I love what a wonderful note she has in here too. That's so fun. And I love this where she's got, I love this whole idea where you take something and die cut or punch, and then you put your paper under it. Is that from Susan? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Nancy Young from South Carolina. Hey, we're coming to your neck of the woods. Look at this. Oh, how fun. Isn't this a great card? Thanks for brightening my day. That is really very cool. Mm -hmm, it is. I love it. Got that fun little fold right in there. That. Christine, we're so glad to have you watching from Australia where you get a whole different time of the day. Madeline Glover from New York. Or nice. Isn't it fun seeing all these cute papers from other places too? Look at the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You are the pot of gold at the end of my rainbow. That is really a fun saying, isn't it? <laughs> that, that's a great St. Patty's Day saving, uh, saying. That is awesome. I love it. And then... <laughs> I know this is a fun one. We knew we couldn't do all this and I didn't want to extend it forever. So this is perfect. Oh, look at our fun little pleated paper here. Hey there. That is adorable. Teresa Lebiata from Michigan. Lebiota, I think. I, I don't know if I get your name right, but that is adorable. Up on the fence and with this pleat. Oh, this was another we were making pleated paper cards um, with grass and things too. Oh, love that. I just love seeing all these variations of what people do. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Kim Lurch from New York. This is, <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I'm going to set that aside. Uh, and this was from that same pleated card class. So those of you, if you do the All Good Cards Club, you'll know all the, do you see how these, all these things relate? I love to take a topic and then we just dive deep with it and do all kinds of things. That is stunning. And look how she put them, the part she cut off is in here. My brother uh, David lived here. in Dundee, but actually Minnesota. Minnesota. It was just really, really tiny. <laughs> it was. Cindy Otten from California. Oh, that's pretty. And she's got a heart I right back it. in here. Yeah. Um, what's really interesting, that is so fun. You know, a lot of times we'll do like leaves. I, I mean, I do that a lot, but, or I'll do a circle of vellum. Look how interesting mm -hmm. that you can do a whole different shape. You know, to do a heart vellum is really a fun idea. And it I is. just don't think about that. Karen Dixon sends St. Patty's Day cards because her maiden name is McCartney. <laughs> I love it. That Yes, you had better. That is perfect. <laughs> she's a great song. I love that. Renee Parisi from Ohio. Happy, oh, happy Easter. I You know, we're home. It's already Palm Sunday and then Easter. Uh, it's, it's just amazing how time goes, isn't it? Mm. Love that. We've got the different strips here and then the inside. Oh, thank you, Renee. That is gorgeous. Columbus, Ohio. Oh, and for my mom from Sue Myers from Ohio. So I'll put this in my and look at this giant butterfly. And you know, and the coloring bits just totally add to it. That's really sweet. How fun to just have that. I, I like that. And I like white on white. <laughs> and then you add that bit look at the eyes. on the eyes. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> I have some things when we were traveling, people gave me some things too. So I will have those to share on a particular time too. Oh, Vesta Streep again. She's the best card sender. Okay. This is, okay. This is, I have to figure out, does this card go like this or does it stand up? No, well, no I, was, I think it just she, goes like this. She mailed it. Yes. She mailed like this. No, like that. With it closed. With the That's closed. how okay. mail. Yes. So I am. Do you know what's fun about fun fold cards? Look at the fun we have just trying to put it together. And it could be several different ways. Because um, this can just stand like this, open in the middle. And these can, I just have to get it to stand. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, so fun. You know, I always tell people, especially when I do fun folds or layouts or anything you particularly like, let me know if you want me to do it. Because I, I take inspiration from all of these things, you know. <laughs> it is uh, just something I love to do. Um, so we, we'll never run out of ideas, will we? But I like how this goes. Oh, where's the envelope? This is from Kathy Wood in Kentucky. Look at another fun use of the paper. So here we have just panels, like, uh, score lines. And then parts of the paper there and the mm. words in the middle. A lot of times when you'll see cards like this, these two would be equal and the words will go this way. 
So like, this is a whole nother take on that. And that's what I love about ideas that you just expand and change them up. And I love that. Then from Florida, we have Kathy Wilkins. Oh, anniversary card. Oh, we are planning oh, our anniversary. Look how pretty that so is. I'm going to put our anniversary cards all in a box. How many years it's going to be 50. 50. Uh, I better not forget that. Look how pretty that is with hearts and the love. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. And what a wonderful note in there. I think Karen thought maybe I'll, I'll give it a couple of years. And <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Karen would never think that. Kathy Murphy from Illinois. Oh, I, this adorable otter. You are <laughs> utterly awesome. Oh, that is so cute. Happy birthday. I love that. And this is a barn door. So this is a barn door card with falls off down there. And I just love when you've got a picture here and then it completes it in here. There's another one that just goes with it. That is so cool. Then we have from Suzanne Heinrich. Oh, look at this. Suzanne, that is awesome. And their Christmas letter. I Okay, I love this. I was talking to her recently. She's been a friend for a long time. And um, she was talking about doing Valentine's or doing other things other than Christmas or, or whatever. So maybe you're sending Christmas cards at Valentine's card. I love that idea because it really stands out. Mary and bright. Is that cool? And then the, the Christmas letter is in here. That is so cool. And, and, and yes, I, uh, we need to get together. Uh, <laughs> but that is very fun. And to lucky from Washington. And to lucky. Mm. How pretty is this? And here's another way of the oval shape and the picture under it. Isn't that framing just lovely? And then the, the snow there. That is so fun. Okay. Oh, love that. That's a beautiful card. Oh, and I guess they're supposed to go to you. I'm yeah, just so are. confused. The countryside in. Oh, and bright and beautiful. Is that's right? Okay, perfect. See? You guys will help me out. So hopefully I'll have it together by Monday night. I have a, it takes, I have a, a, it takes a village. I have, a, yes, I have a plan and you guys will be ready to correct me. Okay. This is a wonderful thank you. And how cute is this? And this is from Debbie Culbertson from Minnesota. Look at this. Isn't that fun? You know, sometimes when, like when I first saw this card, I was thinking it would be the standard one that I do where you flip it up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this one goes this way. So look at all the fun and changes that we get to do with things. I absolutely love it. Yes, our uh, anniversary is June 16th and Tim's 75th birthday is June 17th. So do the math. So, I got married on the eve of my he always said it was his uh, birthday. birthday gift. Um, but um, so Tim is going to be milking it for all it's worth. So, you know, we have a stamp for that. So just that's like, good. That's good. Margaret I, Springer again. I grew up in a dairy farm. Oh, so. oh and she sent the Valentine's card. And look at what a cute little St. Patty's Day card. That is adorable. Oh, and I'm Bobbles. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that, might, that is so cute. The <laughs> wobble really fits St. Patrick's Day. Marlena Copa from Minnesota. Ooh, I remember this and I love dyes that have different layers. So you see, we've got the bottom layer and then we have this and you see through to the bottom. Ooh. Is that pretty? Pretty colors. <gasps> Very fun. She's from Malacca, which is really a uh, and then we have from another one from North Dakota. Good place to go fishing. And this is from Sandy. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. Sandy, what's your last name? I know. Um, and it's not coming to me. If you're here, you need Lundberg. to tell me. Uh, oh, yes. Lundberg. I, I, I was playing around with L's in my mind, but I couldn't come up with it. Love your card. Look this flip down. I don't think we've done this, but this is on my list of ones to do with this pattern. Is that pretty? And I love how she's done that with the... Floral party um, paper here, and then the birds that those gorgeous birds again. Joan, you're gonna you, oh, your 52nd anniversary is on June 17th. Oh my goodness! Mm. Hey, you're even a little ahead of us. Deborah Ludwig from Minnesota. Oh, a lot of Minnesotans here. Um, and I'm always surprised that they're it's you know because we live in Minnesota, but I always just noticed that, so that's really fun. And look how fun this is with the two layers. Another simple card. 
fun layout. And do you see how she's done the ribbon so that it's still flat? This part is curved over and then using twine to tie it. So then you don't have a bulky knot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then we have Kathy Wood from Kentucky. I can't thank you enough. And look at with these dies. Isn't that fun? Or you can just, mm -hmm. all of these are from the same die package. And it's all like stamps. And you can all just kind of fit them in. Very fun. And she won embellishments. We had a party for the All Good Cards Club in July. So we sent out a bunch of uh, prizes. We had a throwback party when we were in Arizona. <laughs> Yeah, we had costumes in the whole bit. It, oh, it was fun. We did. <laughs> so that, it was, that was very sweet. Debbie Lindauer. Oh, another. Oh, from, yeah, I know, uh, from Wisconsin. Uh, in Milwaukee. Oh, that, thank you. Very fun. And, you know, she's uh, another winner. But I just want to point out look how cool this is. So here are, here's her accent, and there are words coming down this way. We always talk about it. it's kind of fun to now, have some vertical words. Isn't this kind of new that they have these vertical? This isn't a Stampin' Up sign, but we have, oh, it isn't. We have they, one they, or we two have, stamp yeah. sets. We have a couple. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't for a long time. And I'm yeah. glad they brought them back because it gives just another little look on a card, which yeah. is fun. Oh, we have more people that are doing Mickey's Mary is going to be 50 years too. Oh, this is fun. Look how Ooh. texture that oh, is. Oh, my goodness. Colleen Anderson from North Dakota. That is really pretty. Uh, I love that. So that very cool. Okay. May the light always find you on a dreary day when you need to be home. May you find your way. Oh, that's so fits. Okay. May you always have courage to take a chance and never find frogs in your underpants. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one. I haven't heard that one either. <laughs> it's, it's big in it's big in North Dakota. Though. Yeah, I guess it must be. So we have Madeline Glover from New York. Oh, I love this style too. Look at this. And I love that she's got the two little baskets, but the two strips here. Mm -hmm. And the words across. Isn't that cute? But those baskets oh. just make it. That is adorable. We used to love doing baskets at, at Easter. Yeah, but now we don't tend to have kids around. We still do one for Hank if yeah. we see them. But um, we miss doing a bunch of them. And when our kids were little too, that's always a fun thing. Yeah, that saying was wonderful. Then we have Julie Tweet from Minnesota, and uh, oh, and I love this too. Look how cool this is. This is, I remember this tulip tulips. set, but you see how she's done the tulips, yep. and Ooh. she's done them under here too, and they're all sharing the same stems. Isn't Ooh. that a cool idea? And it's a happy first day of spring card. How fun. Ooh, love that. Oh, and are, are we saving that for this? Or just... Stephanie says, oh, dear, we've got big lumps of toad frogs in our pond. I hope they won't get into our undies. Yeah, it was a new thought. You you didn't weren't afraid of that before, were you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. D. Davis from Missouri. Oh, and she's, this is a second card from her. And how cute is that? Ooh, how did, it's shiny. Yes. And so here's your accent. And this background is the kind where you can get four cards out of one six by six paper. Isn't that fun? Beautiful. I love it. Pat Nagy, another one. This, Tim, this is for you. Oh, you, my oh, goodness. We, oh, we came to your pile this now. And it's to Mr. Timothy Otitis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Tim. Mm-hmm. Tim Otitis, it's time to celebrate. Mm-hmm. That's so nice. And another Thank one. You, Pat. Oh, see, now... I told you that I had them lined up. I had mine put separately. This is from Anne. Ooh, I was going to say, this, this is a flop. That, how cute. That is yes, how cute is that? Well, see, this it. is a Julie Heights idea. Never a naked back. We talked about Ooh. never a naked envelope. Yeah. And it's like never, never a naked back. And it's I not, like it. So it makes it really fun. So um, and this is a tartan. That is this darling. Is a tartan. <laughs> Tartan design. <laughs> oh, and even the inside. Oh, that is so it. cool. That's <laughs> wonderful. I used to haul these things around when I was a kid. <laughs> and then we Thank have you. Nancy Malcolm from here in Minnesota. Um, I, we actually have two cards in her. So this is, um, let me put this one down too. Because you're going to notice, I just want to talk about, you know how it's fun when you kind of know people's styles. I could say that about a bunch of you. And I think I have a style. 
I think, and a lot, some of us like to do something totally different every time, but we always know when it's an over the top card like this, it's a Nancy Monkholm card. So isn't that fun to be known? Know. And I know some people love doing fun folds and some people, you know, I just think that's really very fun. So we have a Valentine's and a St. Patty's Day card. And I thought those are just very, very cool. Um, have you, have you heard that this is the only way you're supposed to display the horseshoe? No, I haven't. If it was turned around, the luck would run out. Seriously. Oh, Seriously. whoa. That well, Nancy, true. I'm sure glad you put it on right. That's all I can say. <laughs> but I think she probably knows. <laughs> and thank you, Nancy. Um, and oh, that's it. So we got to these cards today. And thanks, you guys. We just love. And then I'd like to sit back and look at them again more personally afterwards. When I come home tonight, I'll put my feet up and just enjoy that. We so appreciate being part of it. Her, her herbal tea. Yes, he will. And we'll talk about the people. You know, we just, um, yeah, so it's very fun. So we love you all tomorrow at some point, but I don't know when. I'll just put up a warning because I don't know what our plans are yet. Um, we're going to share Easter cards. I know what mine are. We have a few things to catch up on. But let me know if you have any questions. And I'm trying really hard to get caught up. Thank you. How much is appointment in the morning? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, so, okay. Thanks, everyone. And we will see you soon.